Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the new update, and if you wonder why I'm so nicely clothed, I just got home from work and I decided to, you know what, this shirt doesn't have any logos of anything, because it's like a civil, it's like my, uh, my own shirt or whatever, and I decided, you know what, why not wear it. But if it was like uh, my securities uniform, I wouldn't use that. But as it's civil, civil or whatever, then it's fine. Let's uh, ch take a look at the update. I know I'm out of sync here, and now I'm not. That was not editing, that was just full screening. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at the new update, with this not bothering me. Okay, now let's take a look. So, uh, new features and gameplay. A new feature, Mind Boss. We'll take a look at that. It should be up and running right almost now. I'll see if we can still access it. If not, then I may record this a little bit later as well. Uh, what? Like, look at this. Like, this, this just opened for me. I think I'm being hacked in the middle of my recording, man. I'll leave it be in case someone wants to type in it or something. Let's head over back to the recording scene. <laughs> uh, wh uh, what? Why is command opening? I'll close it. It's... What? Uh, hopefully I'm not, hopefully I'm not, like, being to t told right now, like, uh, knock knock, Neo, and then it knocks on the door. Like, hopefully that's not, like, I know what you've been looking for, the, the Matrix, I was looking for, for it too. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just a little, <laughs> I'm freaked out. New feature, just, <laughs> just this wheel, skill upgrading, that's the, that, 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 that's the thing, we'll take a look at that. New clothing, Easter Bunny, new mount, dash of hair, new soul arm, just this wheel, new level 12 runes, <laughs> that's not a surprise. Uh, add new mission to for seal and daily quest. Uh, oh, that's actually nice. I like that. Optimis optimization. Add artifact relic shards in palace dungeon. That's great. Optimize icon of level 11 rune and adjust the quality to the artifact. Optimize the way of displaying bath writing. Now you can see here, if you didn't, 3,000 3, million equals to 3 billion. Um, yeah, it's more convenient, now people can get way more. <laughs> uh, add guild mission ranking results mail. Add seal core and guild mission reward. Uh, update the reward for angels favor. My recording is still going, right? I'm just a bit freaked out. <laughs> what? Um, update the rewards for angels favor. That's great, actually. I think. Like the shop, the shop you mean, P please. Uh, adjust the reward for extra domination. Okay, that's actually great as well. We'll take a look at that because I'm very looking forward to some more stuff there. Ranking. Add more shops and merchants. Warrior shop, seal shop, insignia shop. Warrior shop, what is that? Uh, accelerate loading speed and optimize the non-fluency issue in game. That's great. Add tips in Temple of Seal. If gold exceeds 2 billion, the excess amount will be converted into gold ingot and that can be sold for that amount. Yeah, like they couldn't they couldn't fix the gold bug, sadly. I have no idea why. That's... It's bad. Add daily participation limit for Isle of Doom. Skill adjustment. Skill effects that increase the max HP of entire squad in Death Seed will be moved to Fort Skill Divine Eye. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, add a description, unique effect times XX for a group buff in the fourth skill of Isha, T and Eureka, and the same effect can't be stacked. Okay, and add an effect for Sylvia's fourth skill scorner, unique effect vitality. Okay, cool. Um, fix a bug that it shows wrong damage for Sylvia's skills. Fix a bug that reset once can get reward again after players reach the top Temple of Seal. Uh, fix a bug that it will show less than 10 targets in some situation during the second period of Grand Tournament. Okay, uh, so we have a lot to go through. We have quite a lot. Mine boss, let's see, let's see if we can see what it is at all. Mine area boss. 
Um, my boss, this is not available yet. I assume it will be like when the patch happens, but okay, I will cover that whenever it's released. Uh, let's see here, what else? New feature, Justice Wheel skill upgrading. Uh, let's see here for Justice Wheel. Confli okay, cool, finally it says something. Uh, the following buffs apply to start of the battle to the entire squad and us until the end of the battle. 8% attack buff. 8.2 and this is just at level 1. Let's watch... Oh, we can't, we can't see the skills at the higher level, can we? Yeah, I want the skills at like the highest level so that we can see them. See like what, what it is. The entire squad attack by 30% from the start of the battle. Uh, until the end of battle when it starts. Increase HP and defense by 15%. The following buffs apply, yada yada yada. Increase hit and dodge by 15% and yada yada yada. Increase crit and end by 15 and 15%. So it's just, it's just, it's just a buffer basically for per, for, um, for percent. And this won't show in your battle rating, except for like upgrading it will give you stats. But the, ma the main thing about this is that you get a lot of buffs in battle, which is invisible. I already think people are like two or three times as strong in battle. Even though it says 300 million attack, I think people have buffs for over 900 million or even a billion attack at that, ma at that point. Uh, let's take a look at this one now. Uh, the following buffs apply at the start of the battle. Increase HP by 30%, increase defense by 30%, increase reduced damage received by 30%, that's good. Increase agility by 12%, that's not bad. And what about flying moon? Eroding moon, my bad. Uh, increase damage by 20% and increase healing done by 20%. That's amazing. As especially for the healing for mains, I suppose. Increase crit damage by 20%. Uh, increase basic attack damage by 30% and increase normal skill damage. Yeah, the, the basic is useless. Like, the, the when, for example, against an artifact area, they always use the skill, so it basically increases your damage by another 20%. And the last one increases ultimate skill damage by 30%. <clears throat> Once all of these has been restored, you can get up to these stats, which is broken, and it's quite, quite insane. And these are not available yet. Uh, so that's interesting. What? Wait, not... Yeah, these skills are not available yet. Okay, good to know. Now, we've seen through that. Um, Easter Bunny. Yeah, the skills are great. They're, they're good, because percent is very good, especially when you're so high bath rating. I'm like looking at the, at the people up top, like having an insane amount of things. By the way, just kind of quick fired that and hope that I've clicked correctly. I, I, I barely read in any of it. A new coating, uh, let's see here. Where would it be? I'll just do it from here, to be honest. Uh, Easter Bunny, right? Yeah, I would have been so sad having to go on from that last one. It looks cute. Looks nice. Looks fine. What happens if you do that? Yeah, some clothings have some bugs in that. Visual aspect, I guess more from Rara, where I used my first real ass clickbait intro. Uh, Legion of Angels 2 original Let's Play series, episode 30 thumbnail, I think, or 29, I think it was 30. Yeah, I got some bad, yeah, because I upgraded stuff, cool. Um, what else is new here? New mount, Dash O'Hare. Let's take a look at Dash O'Hare, dude, Dash O'Hare. Uh, a new bunny, except it's probably artifact. Yeah, there we go, dash your hair. Oh, yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I didn't expect it to be this cool. What skills does it have? Increase uh, damage hit and end of all allies by 17% for five rounds. And uh, I, I, I want, I want, uh, we want to do this as well. Okay, let's see what the total skill level is here. Increase crit and crit damage by 15% and hit by 20%. Also gain 100 rage. Oh, that's insane! This is extreme for people to. This is a, this is a very good one, I think. 100 rage each turn. If that doesn't get nerfed by reduce it by 40% and reduce it by 30 35%, then it's then it's potentially quite good. Um, new mount, dash your hair and new soul arm. Justice wheel. There, I don't think it. There. Okay, never mind. I think there is always a new solar molar over 
Scorner, what does this do? Damage to all enemies and reduce the healing they receive by until the end of the battle. But I assume this doesn't ignore immunity, so that's at least good, because yeah, it would have been a little bit broken OP if not. Um, let's see here, new rune, level 12 rune. Have we seen Eldora use a level 12 rune yet, or anyone? Any level 12 runes being used? Level, yeah, look, they, they look yellow now. That is kind of cool, and I assume level 12 would be like... Uh, who's, who's her main focus? This one. Or his, right there. Yeah, so he has not gotten any level 12 runes yet. I assume someone must have, right? This is fairly balanced. Yeah, just level 11 runes. I assume if we logged, like, for example, someone such as... A Ragnar to take a look at um, Sterex, we would see some level 12 runes, but I see BA looking at that. I'm curious though. I'm very curious. So there, there's obviously no artifact charts here. I wonder, you can't purchase artifact relics from this shop, no? It should be, you should be able to purchase them, to be honest, for like a ridiculous amount. Uh, next floor, we have, there, there's no more floors, but now... Possible drop is Wheel of Fight shards and you need 80 shards, so that's kinda useful. Now Palace isn't too useless anymore. So that's good. Uh, what else is, is here that we're going to take a look at? Add the new mission for Seagull and Daily quests. So let's claim these two. Sure, sure. Let's see here. Spend diamonds? No. Refine a piece of equipment? No. No. Uh, clear five elite dungeons? No. Is it down on the bottom? Clear, open any levels free chest and temple of seals. It gives you 10 daily points, 10 of those and 10 of those. That's useful. It's just a minor little thing though. Um, our artifact relics to palace dungeon, optimize the icon. Yeah, looks cool. Quality also looks cool. Optimize the way of, of displaying bath rating. We've seen the, that we can't really see. Guild mission reward. Is guild mission still online, or I don't I don't think it is. But yeah, I, I assume we can take a look at that next time guild mission is around. Anything else? Uh, just a reward for uh, angel's favor. Can you still get a lot of stuff? Hopefully you can. But I'm okay. Vermilion hawk is being offered now. That's nice. Spirit master Lulu shards. That's also very damn nice for free. Equipment and chance chest, mythic evolve pack, whatever. It's all nice here, nice and dandy. Dazzling mana crystal, brilliant, is still broken, expensive. That's nice, they added some more stuff here, and as for the normal items, they're still the same. You can get 300 power essence if I really wanted to. Okay, what else have they done? Uh, yeah, we're just reading quickly. Yeah, I've already read through this, right? Uh, X over domination ranking. So let's take a look, take a look at X over domination. Uh, where it at? Isn't it down here somewhere? X over domination. What is the ranking rewards now? 80 shards of a 6 star card. That's nice. You can synthesize a full 6 star card, I believe. 60,000 and. Uh... Okay, that's kind of cool. They, added, they just added more cards in there and stuff there. Uh, as for warrior shop, what is that? Uh, quick entry Warrior shop you can purchase. Oh It's for it's for the the thing. Yeah, also Leviathos. Yeah, it's it's for grand tournament uh, That's what that's the name of it. Is there anything else? Let's take a look here um Admiral shop, yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, extra right loading speed, <laughs> we can't really test that very easily. I don't have enough gold to test the other thing. Participate, okay. Oh, add limit. Okay, so you can't do it permanently. You can't do it a lot. You can't do it infinite anymore. Uh, anything else that I can look at? Well, we can see if we can look at the f like the fourth skill or something on like Isha and, and whatnot. So, what does this do now? Uh, each buff stacks, Isha gains. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you guys can read it yourself. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, going through it so you guys can pause in case and read. 
Yeah, because I, I don't know what... I didn't even properly read the first skill, first skill, so... Yeah, well, uh, I would like to thank everyone for watching this update video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button and subscribe, and... Like if you liked the smiley, because I really love him. I don't know what I would do with that. Where are you? I did it. Oh, there you are. He is back. Anyway, have a good one, and goodbye.